Good morning. I'm going to sit here on this rock, and I think behind me you'll be able to see Saddle Rock. There's some guys hollering up there as they hike. So uh, maybe in the background you can even see that. Um, I've been looking out over the alfalfa here that's in bloom, and you can hear the bees going just really busy working away, gathering their um, pollen and nectar and uh, taking it back up to their hive. Um, today is step nine. And that I wanted to work on. It's a restitution and reconciliation. And a lot of people I've heard along the way in the group that I'm in have been really excited about this step. This is the step they almost wanted to jump to first even before they did anything else. But um, wherever possible, make direct restitution to all persons you've harmed. So this is the point, you know, time where we seek forgiveness. We actually go out and talk to those that we've harmed. And, and because we've learned about that as we've gone through inventory, some of the things we've done. And, and this is all these steps. Um, I find you'll continue to recycle. <laughs> you'll continue to go through them again throughout your life. And that's a good thing to um, make direct restitution and to say I'm sorry and to correct your wrong as quickly as you recognize it and to become more and more aware of that is such a growing and powerful experience. You know, we think sometimes that as we say, oh, I'm so sorry, or as we say, oh, I, I goofed, I'm wrong, that that's going to make us weaker or look somehow bad. But the reality is, is once we give that away and we hand that off, this burden is lifted. We're actually lighter, and um, life it becomes a lot easier. And uh, the joy and the peace can come in and in more abundance as we do that. We feel a lot better about you know everything that's going on in our lives. So, um, anyway, okay, so what do we want to cover in here? Because I don't want to read the whole thing because that could take quite a while and I don't want to take too much of your time. But I want you to know that in this step we do need courage. And, um, but there's other things we need. Good judgment, sensitivity, prudence, appropriate timing. And these are things that as addicts uh, we're, we're not very good at. We don't usually um, possess these attributes at the time and as we're healing and these are the goals anyway to, to continue to get better at and we can always pray and seek help from the Lord in the you know in these times when we're trying to have that appropriate timing and the prudence that we need because of our experiences in this challenging process we offer a few suggestions now these are the people that have been through the program and I'm just going to join right in with them because I feel it's very important um, that you're not impulsive or careless as you attempt to make amends, it's equally important that you do not procrastinate making amends. Many recovering individuals have relapsed when they allowed fear to keep them from doing step nine. Pray for the Lord's guidance and consult with a trusted advisor for help to avoid these pitfalls. You can also find somebody who's in the program that's um, at the same area or even a little bit ahead of you. Again, looking for those people that are succeeding at where you want to be or who you need to associate with and get yourselves with so you can succeed yourself and just become better and better. You may be tempted to avoid meeting a person on your list. However, we recommend that you resist this temptation unless, of course, like there's legal restrictions and stuff like that. Oh no, here comes the wind. Don't fall. Um, a spirit of humility and a feeling of honesty can repair damaged relationships when you make reasonable efforts to meet in person. Now this is important when you meet with that person. The purpose of the meeting and the purpose of coming to this person is not to explain, describe, or tell your side of the story. It's the, um, to admit the wrongs you've committed, offer an apology, and make restitution where, wherever possible. Uh, do not argue with the people or criticize them even if their response is not favorable or accepting. Approach each person in a spirit of humility offering reconciliation and never justification. Apologizing for some actions can be particularly challenging. For example, you may have to address matters that could have legal re repercussions such as dishonesty or serious sexual sin. You may be tempted to overreact. Is <laughs> still going? 